How does life form, develop, and reproduce? What is the origin of our universe? What is the future of our planet? The curiosity behind such questions is with all of us from an early age. Through science, this curiosity has led to experiments created on the grandest scales. From building giant telescopes in space and on mountaintops, to launching a spacecraft that will bring back samples of an asteroid. One of these grand experiments is here in southern Arizona. Owned and operated by the University of Arizona, Biosphere 2 is big science. In fact, it's the world's largest earth science experiment. Can you imagine a laboratory that holds a rainforest and an ocean? That is what Biosphere 2 does. It contains biomes that simulate Earth systems on a massive scale, providing a home for the huge questions asked by chemists, biologists, ecologists, and other researchers who work here to understand our planet. The physical size of Biosphere 2 is matched by the ambition of its educational mission, to show how science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are vital to our future and to inspire new generations of scientists to improve our lives through their insights and innovations. Welcome to Biosphere 2. Biosphere 2 is a sophisticated model of our planet Earth. It's easy to take the Earth for granted. We are born here and live here all our lives. Sometimes we might look up at the moon or stars and wonder about other worlds, but there is plenty to marvel at right here on our home planet. The Earth is 4.6 billion years old, but it is constantly changing. We can see these transformations in the solid part of the Earth, the geosphere, from dramatic forces, such as volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, to erosion slowly wearing down a mountain. The geosphere is constantly being reshaped. We can see these changes in the fluctuating levels of Earth's water systems, its oceans and rivers and underground reservoirs, its hydrosphere, when we look up predictions for how hot or cold it will be, whether it will rain or snow, we are seeing changes brought about by the cycles of clouds and air currents that make our weather in the atmosphere. And when we look at the enormous variety of forms within the biosphere, the arena of life, we witness the result of thousands of generations of genetic adaptations to a changing environment. This is the inspiration for the name Biosphere 2. Earth science is the study of how the geosphere, the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, and the biosphere all interact in a complex system. Biosphere 2 is a living laboratory where scientists examine these interactions in a controlled environment. You can't put the entire Amazon rainforest under glass and control it, but the rainforest at Biosphere 2 is contained, so you can manipulate the water and temperature conditions to conduct experiments on the entire ecosystem. Then you can observe and measure the impact of changes, say simulating a drought, everywhere in the system from an individual leaf on a tree to the health of the whole forest. There are five very different biomes under glass at Biosphere 2, including the tropical rainforest. The ocean biome contains 700,000 gallons of water. The mangrove biome is composed of two major types of wetlands, a grassy marsh and a swamp filled with mangrove trees. The desert biome simulates an arid scrub ecosystem in a coastal climate, sometimes called a fog desert. The savanna biome, with a stream and waterfall, is a transition zone between the desert and the rainforest and is planted with many grasses and edible species of trees. Beneath these biomes is what's called the technosphere, more than three acres of electrical, plumbing, and mechanical systems that regulate the temperature, airflow, and humidity levels. The energy center complex is the hub for all control, electrical, and mechanical systems necessary to sustain Biosphere 2. Researchers use the unique resources of Biosphere 2 to design experiments that address real-world challenges, problems that can affect the quality of life across our planet. We have an exciting experiment ongoing here in the Biosphere 2 tropical rainforest. An international and interdisciplinary team of scientists is descending upon the rainforest to conduct a large-scale drought experiment. And we're doing this by using this unique facility where we can simply turn off the rain. After we do that, we're going to track how and where microbes and plants are continuing to get their water during drought. We're going to look at how carbon continues to cycle in a forest ecosystem under drought. And finally, 
We'll be tracking the different types of compounds that microbes and plants produce when they're under this type of stress. And this is going to help us better understand the future of our tropical rainforest around the globe. So in this controlled facility, we can decide when the drought starts, which means that we can be well poised to capture the full extent of the drought across the entire ecosystem. So a really unique aspect of this study is that we are measuring everything in this ecosystem. We're measuring the atmosphere, the leaves, the trunks of the trees, the roots, the soils, and the water throughout the entire system. So we're gonna have a really complete picture of how this entire ecosystem is responding to drought. Plants release thousands of compounds into the atmosphere, and we're going to track these with high-precision gas analyzers. And because of this, our team of scientists need to restrict the type of lotions and fragrances, perfumes that we wear, because these human fragrances can interfere with the type of plant fragrances that we are trying to track. And for the next few months, this is the reason that the rainforest will be restricted to scientists only who are being very careful about the human fragrances that are released to the system. But we're very excited to share uh, the results that we find from this study with you in the future. Here at the Landscape Evolutionary Observatory, or LEO, researchers are studying a landscape in its first phase of evolution. LEO is an experiment to study the interacting systems of air, water, soil, plants, and microbes. It consists of three enormous steel structures filled with a million pounds of crushed basalt rock from a volcanic crater in northern Arizona. The forming soil in each structure is filled with almost 2,000 sensors so that scientists can measure the effects of their experiments on water, carbon, energy, and other cycles. By controlling different elements of this complex system, they hope to find answers to many real-world questions, including the effects landscapes have on the amount and quality of water runoff. This past winter, we implemented a 45-day rain experiment on all three of our hill slopes. That water percolates through the soil and interacts with the thousands of sensors we have embedded at different depths. Those sensors allow researchers to create 3D models of their landscapes, which yield unparalleled insight into the water cycle and how it relates to hydrology and ecology on our hill slopes and mountains. As a massive experiment, LEO will further our understanding of how the interactions between water, minerals, microbes, and vascular plants help sustain life on Earth. When the biosphere was first constructed, the idea was that it would have a representative biome from all around the world, and of course the ocean, being 76% of the Earth's surface, was included in that. The ocean as a system itself is developed to be able to accommodate a pretty complex ecosystem. It's not just an empty pool. So there's a deep end that goes down to about 27 feet. There's a, a shallow part in the middle that comes up. And then there's a, a shallow area, like a beach area. Uh, we've got a wave machine. Uh, during the school year, we bring in classes from schools all over the region to learn a little bit about marine science. So we can tell them, for example, about how climate change impacts the ocean. What is ocean acidification? The fact that the CO2 we put in the atmosphere is actually taken up by the ocean and changes the chemistry of the ocean and how that has detrimental impacts on ocean life throughout the ocean. So even though we live in the desert here in Arizona, it's important to understand the role that the ocean plays in our daily lives. Important, too, is to gain a sense of how individual ecosystems contribute to global systems of climate regulation, water cycling, and soil development. Earth science has revealed that human beings are a significant agent of change on our ecosystems. We ourselves are changing the way that systems on Earth interact and evolve. Because of this, the human factor must play an important role in our scientific studies. Humans were part of the first experiments conducted at Biosphere 2. Between 1991 and 1994, there were two missions whose purpose was to study how to create a closed ecological system with the ability to support human life in outer space. Eight people were sealed inside Biosphere 2 for two years. One of their goals was to learn how to grow all of their own food in a way that was sustainable, using limited resources of land and water. To do this, they farmed agricultural plots in the part of Biosphere 2 that LEO occupies today. Biosphere 2 is no longer a closed, sealed system. Now, the 40-acre Biosphere 2 campus is being used as a model city to develop and test technologies for sustainable power sources and better resource management. As population increases and climate uh, changes, 
The relationship between food, safety and security, energy and water becomes more and more critical. There will be places that will have less water, places that will have more energy or less energy, and food uh, is going to be in the end critical. So at the biosphere too, through the years to come, we will be the place to evaluate the best technologies that exist in the nexus of water, food, and energy. Biosphere 2 is focused on answers. We are simultaneously learning about our planet's past while forecasting its future, understanding our natural resources while engineering long-term alternatives. Biosphere 2 is an introduction to the adventure of scientific experimentation and to some of the largest forces at work on our planet. It's also a celebration of the remarkable biodiversity found on Earth. It's a place where scientists ask some of their biggest questions to get answers that benefit all of us. Biosphere 2.